Hello YouTubers, in this video we're going to be adjusting the valves on our Club Car 2001 FE290 motor. So as you've maybe seen in other videos, this is I think going to be part three of three on this issue. We have replaced the carburetor, we have got a new air filter, new spark plug, new filters, new fuel pump, and that was before we started working on the golf cart in general. So since we've started this work, we have replaced the magneto. That did not fix our problem, did not give us a spark. And in the last video, we just replaced the rev limiter. That did not fix the problem, even though we now have spark. So I'm gonna to move to adjusting the valves. So I uh, don't know if this is this is a Hail Mary, right? Uh, this thing takes air, fuel, and uh, spark. I've got fuel. I can unhook it from there, and uh, fuel will come out while it's cranking. I've got spark now that the rev limiter is fixed and along with the magneto, and I've got air. So it should fire. So the only thing that would probably prevent it from firing is if something's out of whack on the head at this point. And I'm, I'm not a mechanic by trade. I don't do this for a living. This is, I'm a weekend warrior. So I'm going to adjust the valves. So let's jump into it. So as you know, we still don't have the engine running. We now have spark, which the rev limiter fixed and the magneto fixed. Could have been the rev limiter the whole time, but Anyway, it's got a new magneto in it, or igniter, and we have a limiter. So next thing we're going to try to do is adjust the valves. So two 10 millimeters, and let's undo that. So we took the head valve cover off. Next we're going to check the head, or check the valve settings. So we're going to put it at top dead center, and the way to do that is we're going to remove the spark plug. And we're going to put a straw or something down there. I've seen straws and they're easy enough to find until it gets to the very top. When the straw, straw quits, when the straw quits raising, we'll be at top dead center and that's when we can check our valve lash. Lash is the space in between uh, the rocker arm and the spring. So our filler gauge Here's six one thousandths. You can barely make it out. Anyway, filler gauge is very cheap online. Just grab a filler gauge. We're trying to get it to six one thousandths on the exhaust side and the intake side. So we're just going to keep. We're going to undo the bolt, twist this uh, square head here. That adjusts the tappet distance between the valve and the tappet, which is what's pushing down on the valve and opening and closing it. So let's unloosen this nut first, and then we're gonna make our adjustment here. And then we'll tighten the nut back down when we're done. So in order to make the adjustment, I'm just taking a adjustable wrench on this, and I'm going to unscrew the uh, whatever this thing here is called, I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm making it looser so I can get my six one thousandths of an inch. And once I get to where my filler gauge goes in, if I still had it anywhere, here it is. If I can get it to go in, or when I get it to go in, all I'm going to do is lock it down and tighten up that nut back with my nine millimeter. So let's finish making the adjustments. So I did the six one thousandths and I've already put it back together. <clears throat> and as I've said before, here goes nothing. Now I'm never gonna touch it. All right, I'll come back when I have further thoughts. All right, YouTubers, so I took it for a test drive. 
and everything works great, I will say. Six one thousandths on the valves is the right number. That's a good number to use. I would follow that. That was on both the intake and exhaust, six one thousandths. And I took this thing apart, took the valve cover off the two bolts four times. So first we got it running. Uh, I was shocked. And I took it back apart, checked it, it needed a slight adjustment, it was loose. You could hear the tapping sounds. So I adjusted it again and did it two more times until I felt like, all right, every time I've taken the valve cover off the last time, two times, it did not move. It was right where I expected them to be. So that's it. I cannot believe it. I don't know what part of parts this video is going to be, like, because I've done quite a few things to it. The magneto, the rev limiter, um, the head. Yeah, so this might be whatever third video on this thing, trying to get it to run, and it runs. So job done. I'm shocked. I'm pleased. YouTubers, if you like the video, like the video.